Hello friends, welcome to my channel ASL Crafts. So as mentioned in the title of the video, today I will be sharing the tutorial of the moving cubes with you guys. It is called by different names like the photo puzzle cubes, magic cubes, moving cubes. So let's move on to our tutorial video. The material and tools that we will use are black cardstock paper, pencil, scale, cutter, scoring tools, double sided tissue tape, 2 inch broad black tape. We begin by taking 30 by 14 cm black cardstock paper and mark the points as being shown on the screen. Now score all the green lines and cut along all the red lines. So we get these 6 scored parts of sheet after cutting. Now we have to fold along all the scored lines. First we fold along both 2.5 cm wide lengths. then fold along both 1 cm wide lengths. All the folds are to be done to the same side of the paper. Repeat same for remaining parts. These are the 6 walls of our one cube. Now by connecting all 6 walls, we get our cube ready. All 1 cm flaps of walls are inserted to the inner part of the cube. This might look complicated, but it is not once you do it yourself. So after connecting all the walls, press the corners and edges of the cube firmly so that all 6 walls sit perfectly at their places. As we are making a 3 into 3 cube structure, so we will require a total of 54 walls. Since we already have one cube ready. We will require 48 more walls. Now fold all these parts as done previously.
as we have all the 9 cubes ready, we will take 2 inch broad black tape and cover all the 6 faces and 12 edges of the cube. Doing so will make the cube stiffer and easy to operate with. Make sure to stick the tape smoothly on the surface without having bumps and folds which can cause difficulty in pasting photos later on. Here is the trick to save time, as 2 inches approximately equal to 5 cm, so by keeping the side of the cube 5 cm, we only have to stick the tape once on every edge of the cube. This can also be done by taking the cube of side 2.5 cm and using the 1 inch broad tape. Repeat same for all other 8 cubes. Place all the cubes diagonally as being shown here. Now we have to connect all the corners of the cubes which are in contact with each other. Sorry friends, the video files which have beginning part goes missing from my device. So I am continuing from here. We have to follow two different methods of taping. First one is easier and is done as being shown on your screens. It is opted for outer cubes or the cubes which are connected first. Taping from both sides is crucial. If not done so, the cubes will start falling apart after few movements. Second method of taping is opted when any other cube cover the area of taping. I am using thin tweezers for this purpose as being shown. Now for inner side of the cube, we take two smaller pieces of tape which are pasted towards the corners of the cube because with larger pieces of tape, it is difficult to work with in such small space. Same steps are to be repeated for connecting all other corners of the cubes. Our basic structure is ready. Now we get our double sided tissue tape but first comes trick number 2. By drawing a 5 cm long reference line we will always cut approximately same length of the tissue tape. Now stick double sided tissue tape to each face of the cube which are facing towards outer sides of the structure. This is what it should look like. Now keeping it aside, we get a photo which is square in shape of side 15 cm. We cut it into 9 smaller squares which are of side 5 cm. After peeling all the 
the covering of double sided tape we have to stick the photo part by part with proper care of its orientation and order always put a firm pressure from the side of the structure while pasting photos so that all the parts of the photos are at same inclination repeat the same for other side just make sure to flip the structure only once before pasting the parts of the photos on the other side doing so will puzzle other side when first side is solved and when other side is solved the first side gets puzzled now comes the turn of making retention system which will hold the structure tight without any gap in the cubes i am using 1 inch broad ribbon and a quarter inch wide elastic strap first we cut short the length of the ribbon as per requirement After stitching the elastic strap to the ribbon, apply a few drops of super glue so that threads of the ribbon just don't rip off when some force is applied on the stitches by elastic strap. Do observe this step very carefully. It is not compulsory here to use the same retention method. Different methods can be opted for this purpose. For example, using velcro straps at the ends of the ribbon instead of elastic. Magnets can also be used at the ends of the ribbon. Or simplest method is to just tie a knot with the ribbon at the top. Now I am making a little handle here with the another piece of 1 inch broad ribbon. First put the retention system on the structure then measure the length required for handle. Make sure to leave extra gap in the handle because when the retention system is removed elastic straps will get stretched but the ribbon used for handle cannot stretch. another thin ribbon just for decoration purpose more decoration and gift wrapping can be done as per your budget and creativity here comes the final product and share the video if it was helpful as this is my first tutorial video 
comment down your views in the comments section and let me know what improvements are required. Take care, see you in the next video.